1848, Karl Marx and his co-worker, Frederick Engels, teamed up to write an overview that was a reaction to the Industrial Revolution. This pamphlet gained worldwide recognition for its ideas based for communism. This written masterpiece is known as The Communist Manifesto. The Communist Manifesto. The Communists realized that by organizing the proletariat, they could vote more power. The proletariat would use its political supremacy to wrest, by degree, all capital from the bourgeois, to centralize all instruments of production in the hands of the states. 1. Abolition of property in land and application of all rents in land to public purposes. 2. A heavy progressive graduate income tax. 3. Abolition of all rights of inheritance. 4. Confiscation of the property of all emigrants and rebels. 5. Centralization of credit in the banks of the state by means of national bank, the state capital, and exclusive monopoly. 6. Centralization of means of communication and transport in the hands of the state. 7. Extension of factories and instruments of production owned by the state, the bringing into cultivation of wastelands, and the improvement of soil, generally in accordance with the common plan. 8. Equal obligation of all to work, establishment of industrial armies, especially for agriculture. 9. Combination of agriculture with manufacturing industries, the gradual abolition of all the distinction between town and country by a more equitable distribution of the populace over the country. 10. Free education for all children in public schools. Abolition of children's factory labour in its present form. Combination of education and industrial production, etc. What is communism, you may ask? Communism is derived from the work of the Communist Manifesto. Communism is an economic theory that leads to a society in which all property is publicly owned and each person works and is paid according to their abilities and needs. In the mid-19th century, the proletariat throughout Western Europe had begun to pay close attention to the ideas of a German socialist, Karl Marx, who, in collaboration with Frederick Engels, had written a pamphlet called The Communist Manifesto. Marx argued that politics and economics were inseparably linked. He saw the history of social change as a succession of struggles between different classes in society. For example, in medieval Europe, the nobility made laws that favored their own interests. As the merchant class or bourgeoisie gained wealth and power, its members joined together to oppose laws that held them back. When the bourgeoisie demanded a voice in government, the nobility refused to surrender any power. That was the situation in France toward the end of the 18th century when a revolution overthrew feudalism and the bourgeoisie established a pro-capitalist parliamentary government to represent its interests. Marx predicted that the next struggle for power would take place between the triumphant bourgeoisie and the proletariat the workers who actually produced the wealth in a capitalist system. Marx believed that the bourgeoisie, like every ruling class in the past, would refuse to share power with the proletariat, and that the workers would eventually have to rebel against the bourgeoisie to gain their rights. He foresaw the end of capitalism and the beginning of a new social order called socialism, in which the workers controlled the government and the economy. Marx believed that people living under socialism would gradually learn not to be greedy and not to exploit one another. They would then be ready to live together in a peaceful world under communism, a system in which everyone would share in the world's wealth. Every able-bodied person would do constructive work, and everyone would be guaranteed food, clothing, shelter, health care, and education. The philosophy was summed up in the words, from each according to his ability, to each according to his needs. The significance of the Communist Manifesto is that Karl Marx was very accurate on the details of communism. However, he was far off on the results or the outcome of his ideas. In his work, Karl Marx argues that class struggles or the exploitation of one class by another are the motivating force behind all historical developments. In part of the Communist Manifesto, Marx mentions compliments to the ideals of capitalism based on the written piece in Wealth of Nations by Adam Smith. Karl Marx states that capitalism is necessary to lay down the foundations of communism. However, 
The pamphlet argues that capitalism is inevitable and is inherently unstable.